agriculture in India faces a lot of challenges including low crop productivity as in even though we are putting a lot of fertilizers but we are not putting right amount of the fertilizers which results in low crop productivity and high cost. There are other challenges including certain kinds of pest and disease attack about which there is lack of awareness amongst the farmers. They do not know when to put and what solutions to apply as uh, they do not know when the pest and disease attacks may occur. There are several other challenges like poor infrastructure. We do not have so many readily available soil testing laboratories. Similarly, not enough uh, pest and disease uh, identification laboratories are there. Given that 80% of the farmers are small and marginal farmers, they are not able to afford the IoT sensors based solutions. So we at Satya, we provide the solution for the farmers using remote sensing and multiple satellite data. Let's look at these technologies that we use. Our technology is based on satellite remote sensing. Like as in human, we have different organ where we can physically touch and figure out the object. But there are some organ like eyes where we don't have to physically touch something and we can see what kind of object we are having. So similar to this, you can say satellite remote sensing is like eyes in disguise. So there we have a, you can say camera or eyes or the uh, electronic instrument. We put it on the satellite, it sends the energy to the earth and it records back the signal. So based on this recorded signal, we estimate what kind of information, what kind of object we have on the ground. So with the help of satellite remote sensing, we can uh, figure out the, uh, this how much soil moisture we have, the, how is the health of the crop, how is the, uh, the different macronutrient like NPK, soil organic carbon and pH value. And all this is possible without need of any hardware uh, to be put on the farm. So we can easily estimate the global information without any need of going there. We can estimate historical data going back up to last 40-50 years. The another advantage is since this is the data coming over entire earth, we can easily aggregate the information and get the information at various scale. So we can capture at let's say village scale, district scale or the state or the national scale. And we can figure out the stage of the crop when the sowing started, harvesting started, how the crops are doing, uh, how much drought we have, how much flood we have. And this can benefit apart from the farmers, it can benefit all the uh, players working in the agriculture ecosystem. So using the satellite remote sensing technology, we are providing solution to the farmers, to agriculture companies, to the government department, to NGOs, to FPOs and all the people working in agriculture ecosystem. Our solution is uh, available in the mobile application as well as the web application where all these people can start using this technology in a very easy to use and ready to use format. Bailusime, Kolara, Chibalapra, Bengalur Gramantra, Ijilegali, Niri Nabhavaide, Saur the Idnu Radi Korsudru Nirilla, Intakade, Antar Jalada, Patala the Nir Ninda Tegdu, Krushi Martha Kantadu and the Saval. Inta Sandar Vidali, Nirina Nirvahane, Bele Nirvahane, Roga Nirvahane, Matu, Maninali, Tevam Chanod Kulvantadu, Havaman at the Bagatilwalke Kodwantadu, Idella Raitri, Bahala Mukiva the Vichara, other Istudina, Idru Bagasaria, the Maiti Sikthal. Adia the Gobradinda, Nama, Manina Palava, the Academy Actaitu. Yerdi Akrelu and the Eredmur sample to Kandu, Randa Magi, and Nima Totali Riti, NPK Higide, Sile Carbon Higide, Saidella Helta. On the Vajani Kabagi, on the Appana Madalagide. Is sat to farm under a satellite in the Irtakanta Maiti, Namma Tota the Maiti, Namma Anga Lirtakanta, mobile phone, a hag a dakalagate. Iga idi desha digital agriculture bugge matadwanta, east under of the lay, you to sat to farm, right there, a ballast opioid tactic.